guys, so today I'm going to be doing a couple of videos, but the one that I am doing today is the best of 2014. So, I have a lot of products, so I'm just going to get through them, like, really fast, and sorry for my hair, I just, I didn't feel like doing it, so I threw it up into a messy braid. So, anyways, I'm going to be doing the best of 2014. For those of you who don't know, it's typically a YouTube tag or video that is going around where you basically list everything that like has been like an awesome product of 2014 that you've seen yourself using like a bunch of times so and I have some old products and some new products and I also have stuff that isn't exactly beauty related but I wanted to include it in this okay so we'll get started because I have a lot so First things first, I just recently purchased these and I already love them. I purchased them mm, about um, almost almost two months ago and it is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Volume Filler uh, Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, I tried this in an Ulta sample that they gave me and I loved it right off the bat. It made my hair so soft and so smooth and it says for fine thin hair and I know I don't have fine thin hair but it works really really well I suggest this if you're looking for some type of like softness and to repair your hair because let's be honest um this hair does not look good without a heating tool and these are a lot and it damages my hair very easily so these are wonderful and I'm still using them I'm probably halfway through both of them so yeah, use these religiously right now. Uh, okay, the next thing to go with that, I also tried a sample of this and I loved it. And it's I actually used it today. It is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Volume Filler Densifying Jelly with Phylloxin. And it's a blowout volume. So, I like I said, I got a sample of this from Ulta and I loved it. It's literally, it smells really good. Some people would say it smells really bad, but I think it smells like normal hair gel, but it's, um, it's a weightless treatment styler. It's a leave-in, and this stuff, it comes out just like a gel. You just, after you get out of the shower, you brush your hair, then you put it all throughout your hair, and it makes my hair so much more manageable and so much more softer, so I love this right now. And I typically try to use it every other time I shower. So, and then another thing I use um, when I'm not using the gel is this Nourishing Coconut Milk Split Ends Mender from Organics. This stuff is awesome. I put this on my roots after I get out of the shower and it smells kind of, it smells coconutty but like different, like a different kind of coconut because I don't really care for coconut scented things I guess you could say. But, um, this stuff works really well. It also kind of does the same thing as the gel, just a little bit of different, and it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner, I guess you could call it. And then I have a Curious Britney Spears, uh, shower, shower gel. So I recently picked up her, like, um, what do you call it? Her line of, like, perfume, and it came with this shower gel and it came with a lotion and um, I'm basically almost out of this so but I still have a little bit of product in there but um, this stuff works really well and it smells really good um, one thing that I did get from my BoxyCharm subscription is this Eva NYC clean it up shampoo uh, it's it's got keratin and argan oil in it and this stuff is amazing. I just recently started using this. So what I do is I use the L'Oreal shampoo, or the L'Oreal conditioner after <coughs> I use this. So, and this stuff smells amazing. It smells just like argan oil. Like, it's got that specific, you know, like, scent. So, yeah. Um, but I think this does really well. It makes my hair really soft, too, and I've really noticed a difference. So, BoxyCharm, you did good on this. And then another thing I've been using a lot is this Cashmere Glow Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. I got this for Christmas, and I've used it before in the past. Mm. 
Okay guys, sorry, I had some technical difficulties with my phone, so. Anyways, I will start on what I have next. It is the Dry Idea Advanced Dry Hypoallergenic Unscented 72 Hour Deodorant Clear Gel. So, um, I break out easily, I can't really use solid or powder, so, um, I use this stuff. I use a gel. And the next thing I started to go in on was this box of goodies. So I'm just going to go really fast. This is going to be a couple of accessories, um, perfumes, and makeup and nail polish. Okay. And so this is a phone case. Um, I really like it. It's for the iPhone 5, 5S. Um, I don't remember where I got it. But it is the, like, mint and white colored, uh, chevron print. So, yeah, I really like it. And another thing I've been loving is this headband. It's very, um, Daisy from Gatsby. Very Gatsby-esque, as Snooki would call it. Uh, yeah, I bought it for my flapper costume for Halloween, and I love it. Another headband I've been loving is this one. It is like a wrap headband, and it is just peach colored, kind of corally, and it's got little um, baby sequins in it. Um, I've been loving these um, sunglasses. They're from Claire's. Got them for $5. How do I look? Um, I like these kind. I've been wearing these a lot. So, yeah. Um... Another hair product is this bow. I really like this bow. It's like a cheetah print, kind of, leopard print, but it's just like a little clip on. And I would put it in the back on, like when I have my hair done. So yeah. Um, nail polishes. I'm going to go really quickly. This is LA Colors Color Craze with Hardener in Bloom. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a corally color. And this is the uh, Simple Shine with Gel Tech in Real Flush. And I got this as a, um, to review for my influencer a long time ago. And it works really well. And then I got this Revlon color in Charming. And it's like a lavender color. It's kind of showing up a different color, but it's definitely lavender. Uh, it's a good pastel. Um, here's another pastel. It is also by Revlon, and it is in minted, and this is just a mint color. Also a really good pastel. Um, a Sinful Colors in I Miss You, and it is just like a chunky purple glitter color. Um, this is a Perfect Ten Salon formula stronger and longer nail polish in blackout this is my go-to black color I have two of these the next one is this LA colors color craze in absolute and it is it's like a hot pink really good for the summer and then I have this pure ice color in crimson and I stole this from my mom because I really liked it and there's just a pretty red color with like some shimmer in it. Uh, this is another pure ice and this does not have a name because it fell off but it is just a silver chunky glitter color. Good for accent nails. This is a simple colors in Dream On and it is just like a purple color and it is very bright but when you put this on it like it's like a matte finish so it looks very different when it's on. And this is an orally color, um, in, it's not rocket science. Very pretty, it's like a green and blue chunk, or not really chunky, it's kind of like a green-blue glitter deal. I got the, that at TJ Maxx along with this one. This is also an orally polish, and this is in Rococo Gogo, and it is like a galaxy colored there's pink, blue, orange, yellow, 
all kinds of colors in there. It's so cool. I love it. And then the last nail color is this Sally Hansen Maximum Growth Daily Nail Growth Program, and I'm almost out of it. Um, but it really does help grow your nails. Okay, and then this, oops, this um, Bath and Body Works fragrance mist in Velvet Sugar. I'm about halfway done with it. I got this last year. It smells really good. It smells just like red velvet. Mmm. It smells so good. I love it. And then I have a nice perfume. This is the Gas Perfume. And I just got the, this this summer and it smells so good. This is my go-to perfume. Mmm. So good. It smells so florally. And then I have the Cashmere Glow um, lotion from Bath and Body Works. And I got this with the shower gel and I really like this. Um, here, this is the Nivea Skin Firming Hydration Body Lotion. I love this. I got this in an influencer box too. Um, I've been loving this Lancome uh, Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff works really well. My eyes get really irritated when I take my makeup off and this is this has helped a lot. Um, another body mist is this pink chiffon from Bath and Body Works and this works really well too. It smells very florally. Mm, this is what I used to spray my room with. It smells so good. And I'm also going to include this Coastal Sense Revealed Palette. So I got this in a boxy charm and ever since I got it I've been loving it. I've been using it every single day. I actually have it on today. You can see it's kind of like the nude colors but this stuff is awesome. Um, and then I have my bare palette. It's like a dupe for the naked palette, or so everybody says, but it's from Profusion, and I've definitely hit pan <laughs> on that color at least, and a little bit of that, but yeah. I use that like almost every single day. And then I um, have this Laura Ashley Italian Lemon Body Butter, and I got this in a Beauty Box 5, and oh, it smells so good. It just smells so good. I love lemon scents. Okay, now for makeup. So, I got this in a Beauty Box 5, I believe. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Cheek and Lip Stain Pink. And that's what it looks like. It smells really good. It works really, really well as a cheek stain. I like using it as a cheek stain. Um, another thing that I got in a subscription box that I'm loving is this crown brush. I've used it a lot. Um, works very well, very soft, and it's a dual ended, so that's cool. Um, a thing that I got in my Walmart subscription box was this CoverGirl Colorlicious in Candylicious, and this stuff is awesome. It's not sticky, it's um, a perfect, like, actually, I'll put it on today since I just have like a nude lip going and it, it smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and it just like leaves your lips like looking so good, like I love it. It's like one of my go-to lip glosses. And then I have this Wet n Wild blush in Heather Silk, and obviously I've hit pan on it. Um, it works really well, it's very pigmented. Um, my go-to bronzer that I always use is also from Wet n Wild, and it is the Bikini Contest, and I've hit pan on it just recently. Works well. Goes a long way. Um, a lipstick from NYC, and this is in Blossom. It's a very pretty, pretty color. I love it. I love it when I'm doing, like, a bold lip color. Um, this was from a Birchbox subscription. And it is a sample of English Laundry by Christopher Wicks. This stuff smells so good. It's, it's just, can't even describe it. It smells so good. It kind of smells watermelony. And then I have this, I can't even see it anymore. It's the Stila Lip Glaze. And I'm almost out of it. I'm so sad. But this stuff was my go-to lip gloss before the color cover girl. But um, I love that too. This is an e.l.f. baked blush in passion pink. I 
use this not as a blush but as a highlight but um elf's baked blushes are really raved about and um i have to agree with uh kathleen lights here kathleen lights here on youtube um these blushes are so versatile you can use them dry or wet and they work so well and they even work as a highlighter i've never tried the like baked high or baked bronzers or highlighters so i guess i'll have to do that but then i have a lip liner pencil from clean color and this is in flush red and i will do a little swatch for you that's what it looks like and i use that with my typical red lip that you guys see on here frequently <laughs> and then I have this um, clean color pixie jar and it is a duo liquid liner and it's also when you pop off the top it is a um, eyeliner pen for like your waterline or whatever and it works really well surprisingly for a dollar um next is this i got this in a beauty box five this is the hask macadamia oil revitalizing shine hair treatment and this stuff works really well i love macadamia oil um another thing is this covergirl lip slick smoochies and hashtag text me and it is just like a lip balm it's like a tinted lip balm and it smells like cherries and it works well when I put on my red lip to keep them hydrated another thing is this elf zit zapping concealer that I'm almost out of I'm gonna have to purchase another one but um yeah just helps with my zits and to hide them and then this was also an ipsy a subscription product this is the NYX butter lip balm in lady fingers and it is just a mauve tinted lip balm. It's really cute. I use it as like a base every single day. Okay, and then um, I have this Tarte Lip Surgeons in Joy. It's also a favorite lip gloss. I have this e.l.f. eyelid primer in Sheer. It works well with mattifying my eyelids. Um, this is a white Kajal pencil in, from Essence. I got this at Ulta. It works really well. Um, this Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Tuper, er, Perfect Black works really well too. This is my favorite mascara. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing and getting the full size. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Really, really well. Works really well. I'm using it on my eyes today. Um, this is the Bella Bomba by Benefit box uh, blush, and this stuff smells amazing. It works really good. I love it. It's kind of like a peachy blush. Works really well. Um, another thing is the I have a bunch of eyeliners from. Urban Decay, so I have, oh, one of them fell, um, it's the dual ended 24-7 glide on eye pencils, this one is in Black Market, and this one is in Tornado, okay, and Tornado is kind of like a purpley color, and then this one is in Perversion, which is really popular on here. And this one is an LSD, which is like a blue. So, they're basically black and then there's like some surprise colors. Okay, and the black for this one is zero and this one is a brown color in Demolition. And then the one that I dropped is, it's a velvet 24-7 glide on eye pencil and it's in black velvet. And then the other one is smoke, which is like a gray color. So yeah, and I keep them in this like little thing that it came in. It's their Black Magic um, set, and I keep it in there because I think it's really cool looking. Oh yeah, and they work really well. I'm using Perversion on my eyes today. And my go-to red lipstick is by CoverGirl, and this is in Hot Passion. Very pretty red. It smells amazing. I love it. 
Um, another liquid liner that I have been using a lot lately is the Clean Color Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And it's just a felt tip. Um, I'll show you. So, it's that one. That one right there. Works really well. Love it. I'm using it on my uh, top eyes. Um, and then I have a brush. It is the e.l.f. Small Stipple, Stipple brush. Stippling brush. Yeah. Um, you can tell I use it. I use it for my foundation. Works really well. Um, more. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Rich Red. Um, it's kind of falling apart on me. But I still use it. Um, that's what it looks like. And I use that with my red lips too. It mattifies them too perfectly. And then I have this Rimmel London Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. And I got this in an influencer box a while ago and I love it. I didn't like it at first but I really do now. And then I have this Lancome lipstick in... It's a cream lipstick in Natural Beauty and it is just like a nude color and I was uh, actually wearing it today. It's really pretty. And, um, this is the Lancome Eyelash Primer. So, yep, works really well. And then my favorite, favorite mascara right now is this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And I actually got this in an Ipsy bag too. This is the full size. I purchased this a couple weeks before I received my Ipsy bag. But, yeah, I love it. And then I have this Dove Deep Moisture um, Body Wash. And it's just a little small sample one. I like it. It makes my skin really soft. Thinking about purchasing the full size. Uh, another lip gloss I've been loving ooh, is the NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. Really, really pretty and I love it. Um, I've been loving the Ulta Brow Expert in Light. I have this um, Toka Hand Cream in Cleopatra. I got this in a birch, bo birch box. This works really, really well. I just stick this in my purse too. It's perfect purse size. And then I have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in Soft Beige. This works really well for my skin. And then my last product is this Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in 004 Sandstorm. And I've already had pan on it and I just bought it and I thought long ago because I use it so frequently. It helps me stay matte. And this stuff is raved about here on YouTube but I love this stuff. Like I discovered it last Christmas and I fell in love with it so... That was my best in 2014 video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you like any of the products that I've mentioned. If you, you know, if you hate them, if you love them, that kind of thing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.